Open Heavens on the Go, Monday, September 6, 2021. Topic, You Need Not Fear. Memory Verse, Romans 8.15 For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Bible reading, Isaiah 41, 10-13 Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded they shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall perish thou shalt seek them and shall not find them even them that contended with thee they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught for i the lord thy god will hold thy right hand saying unto thee Fear not, I will help thee. The message. The scripture contains a lot of fear not statements from God to his people. Fear is one tool the enemy finds most useful in making the children of God suffer failure, pain, and destruction of destiny. Many a time, the things people are afraid of are not real, but their minds paint an imaginary picture of the object or situation out of proportion with the reality and the enemy helps to blow it up. Thus, people become afraid of things that should not instill fear in them. Certainly, there are some situations that are truly terrifying, but the Lord our God still charges us not to be afraid. He wants us to know that with Him backing us up, nothing and no situation can have us at its mercy. Isaiah 41 10 says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea. I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Fear is an enemy. It paralyzes the potential for greatness. The Bible says, fear has torment. 1 John 4, 18. Fear makes the one, full of it, disobedient to God. Fear makes a fellow lift his or her situation higher than God. Such was the case of King Saul, who confessed that he had sinned because he feared the people and obeyed their voice, even against the instruction of God. 1 Samuel 15, 24 Being fearful is a sin that can lead one into eternity in the lake of fire. Revelation 21, 8 says, But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Of these sins, fearfulness is number one on the list. You have no business being fearful. Jesus our Lord is greater than any human being, no matter his or her status. He is greater than any situation. Nothing and no one is a match for him. Colossians 2.15-6 Jesus has spoiled principalities and powers. Isaiah 8.12-13 says, we should not fear their fear, but fear only God. Once we fear God, we will have no one else to fear. 
you cannot claim to fear God and others at the same time. Action point. Go on your knees and confront anything, person, or situation tending to make you afraid in the name of Jesus. Command the spirit of fear to depart from you by fire in Jesus' name. Bible reading in one year, Proverbs 11 to 12. Him for today, I need thee every hour. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.